Prime Minister views progress on extension of East-West Highway, opens the island's first public nuclear medicine centre and visits Clarendon family grieving from five-member loss. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. Prime Minister Andrew Holness was on hand Wednesday for the official reopening of the island's first and only nuclear medical science facility. The centre, based at the University Hospital of the West Indies, was closed in 2002. Mr Holness told at the gathering that the re-establishment of the facility will play a vital role in the public health system. This through improved diagnosis and management of non-communicable diseases such as cancers and cardiac diseases, which account for half of all the deaths recorded in Latin America and the Caribbean. Nuclear medicine enables the early diagnosis and treatment of cardiac conditions and cancer, which can mean the difference between life and death. The facility that we are opening today is an important component of any modern health service. The service will now be available locally within the public health care system and this means that patients will be able to get this up-to-date, modern service at a fraction of the cost when compared to that offered overseas. This facility will benefit our citizens and those in the wider Caribbean. The reopened nuclear medicine facility is a collaborative effort of the University Hospital and the University of the West Indies, as well as the Planning Institute of Jamaica, Ministry of Health and Wellness, and the International Atomic Energy Agency. So far, the project is 75% complete, and it is on track to be completed by the first quarter, the end of the first quarter in 2023. From what I've seen, the works uh, are very impressive, and it is going to be a, a very critical piece of infrastructure for Jamaica. It will certainly help to reduce travel time and improve efficiency and comfort of the commuting public all over. Prime Minister Andrew Holness Friday, following a tour of the section of the East-West Highway, which will link Maypen in Clarendon to Williamsfield in Manchester. The toll road extension is being built by China Harbour Engineering Company, with supervision from the National Road Operating and Constructing Company Limited. And while in central Jamaica, the Prime Minister ventured to Coca Peace in Clarendon to visit the family of 31-year-old Kamisha Wright and her four children who were killed on June 21. While he comforted the family, the Prime Minister promised to deal decisively with domestic and intimate partner violence. He also urged family members to report incidents of violence within the home. Don't take it lightly. Don't accept it as normal and allow the courts and the law to take its course on people who use violence. Because if you give them an opportunity to escape accountability for the use of a lower threshold of violence, then don't believe that they will think that they have been given a reprieve and they will reform. They could easily escalate because of the view that there is no consequence for them if they use violence. Before making his way to central Jamaica, the Prime Minister visited 105-year-old Winifred Stern. The centenarian is among a handful of Jamaicans who were feted for National Council for Senior Citizens post Centenarians Day activities on Friday. It is a blessing. It is a blessing. Uh, it, you know, we do have a culture of respecting and cherishing our seniors, our elders. It is oftentimes challenged, of course, um, as our society changes. But it is important that the government establishes the importance of our seniors and acknowledge them yes. and support them. At the office of the Prime Minister earlier in the week, Mr. Holness met with the non-resident ambassador of the State of Israel to Jamaica. Wednesday also saw the Prime Minister meeting with the management of the National Housing Trust. And Prime Minister Holness closed out his Wednesday meetings by welcoming representatives of the Realtors Association of Jamaica. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.